GTA 6 fans feel like they actually just got their first official teaser of the game, and one of those sources is actually Rockstar. We'll be talking about all that in this video today, and a whole lot more. So earlier today, Rockstar Games put out a new trailer to honor and celebrate the 10-year anniversary of GTA 5 in Grand Theft Auto Online. I'll show you guys the trailer right now, and I have already gone through the entire thing frame by frame, trying to find any minute references to Grand Theft Auto 6, any hints or clues. I don't see anything there, but what I really do see here is Rockstar once again sort of saying goodbye to GTA 5, or kind of closing the door and leading the way to GTA 6. So remember on their Newswire the other day, they ended up saying this, as Grand Theft Auto 5 turns 10 this coming Sunday, we would like to thank you, our players, for your incredible support over the years. This amazing community is the reason GTA 5 has thrived across multiple console generations and given us the opportunity to grow and update GTA Online with new features and content over these past 10 years. And your support is truly humbling. A massive thank you to anyone who has ever played, streamed, role-played, created, or shared from the world of Los Santos and Blaine County. And I don't know about you guys, but that kind of sounds like a goodbye, or at least thanking the community as they turn the page and move on to the next chapter. And this sounds very similar to what Rockstar did with the thank you and credits page that was just recently updated for GTA 5 and Grand Theft Auto Online. Remember it says this, Grand Theft Auto 5 and Grand Theft Auto Online represent the combined efforts of our global teams over many years. We want to acknowledge and thank everyone who's contributed to these games from their original launch in 2013 all the way through to present day. So again, I don't know about you guys, but it kind of feels like this is Rockstar closing the chapter of GTA 5, thanking fans for all that they've done and all the moments that they've had. And I feel like this could be the opening of the door for Grand Theft Auto 6. Now, one other interesting thing I found about this trailer that Rockstar put out on their YouTube channel, not only in both long form, but also short form too, there's actually kind of a cool little Easter egg in here that you might not have noticed. And it actually has to do with the characters and the way they're standing. This is actually extremely similar to one of the original GTA 5 artworks that were put out. The characters are in the exact same spot, wearing the exact same clothing, pretty much doing the exact same thing, even as a car burning in the background. That was kind of cool. I don't know how many of you guys actually caught on to that or noticed it, but I found that to be pretty interesting. You guys can let me know what you think of that in those comments down below. Now, other than that, fans are also looking at an interesting video that has started circulating online, and it involves Sean Fontano, who is the voice actor and likeness of Franklin Clinton, and also Brian Zampella, who is the alleged voice actor of the main protagonist, Jason, in GTA 6. Now, it's not 100% confirmed it's him, and he's even done a lot of things that suggest he isn't the guy, based on the way we know Rockstar works with actors and voiceover artists in the past and the strict NDAs that they have to sign. Essentially, he has gone on to do a series of videos that have been uploaded to his YouTube channel, and they all have to do with this various briefcase. And in the final episode that they uploaded earlier today, Sean and Brian Zimpella are sitting on a private plane debating whether or not they should open this briefcase. And then, of course, we obviously don't see what's inside the briefcase. And many believe that this is a teaser for Grand Theft Auto 6. Now, I personally don't think that's the case. I think the entirety of the video is meant to make you believe that's the case. But I just don't feel like this is the way Rockstar would reveal Grand Theft Auto 6 to the entire world. I feel like they would want to do it in their own way. So I'm not going to shut anything down. If you guys want to believe this and you want to say to yourself, all right, GTA 6 is inside of this briefcase, you can totally go for it. And you might think he is the real actor. You might think he's trolling. You might think he's not, but regardless, he's entertaining. Uh, I'll leave links to that in the description so you can make the judgment for yourself. But we're closing in now. We are just two days until GTA 5's 10th anniversary. So if either of these things were the first official teaser, I feel like we're getting close. And once Rockstar sort of has this anniversary out of the way, it opens the door for them to move on to GTA 6. And not saying they aren't capable of talking about two things at once. 
We saw that when GTA 5 was revealed in 2011, Rockstar was still talking about Max Payne 3 plans. We saw it in 2016 when Red Dead Redemption 2 was revealed. Rockstar was still producing and talking about various big time updates in Grand Theft Auto Online. We saw it in 2021 when Rockstar revealed the GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition. Lots of Red Dead Online updates going on. Also lots of GTA Online updates going on. And there's a good chance that when Rockstar does officially reveal GTA 6 for the first time, it's going to be surrounded by a bunch of other big news as well. Whether it be Grand Theft Auto Online DLCs or in this case the 10 year anniversary of Grand Theft Auto 5. So let me know what you guys think in those comments down below. Do you think either of the two things we looked at today whether it be done by Rockstar or whether it be done by the alleged voice actor for Jason, Brian Zampella. Do you think either of these have to do with GTA 6? Is Rockstar closing down one chapter and opening up another? Let me know what you guys think in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.